To be able to offer Adagio class to so many students is something we're very proud of. Our boys program is very robust and so we have the opportunity to equate those numbers with uh, our female dancers. The way we start partnering is with a beginner class and that was started by Jonathan Stafford a number of years back. We feel if we start them younger they, they take to it faster and then their skills can develop over a longer arc. In beginner partnering, they're just learning the stationary uh, positions of holding a girl up on her leg without moving so much. Now plie and stretch a little better, a little better. Did you feel somewhat supported throughout that? Push turn, go. Almost. When they get to C1 and intermediate, we can start to slowly add in tutus. It can be a huge fear to not have that practice and then all of a sudden you get to a dress rehearsal where your partner's in a tutu and you're like, I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. It's a very almost like sixth sense that you have to have. And so the more practice they can get with that, the better, which is why we start in C1. And then by the time that they get to C2 and D, they're ready to do all of these things and add rep. A lot of our combinations are actually built off of rep. We'll steal little bits and pieces um, and integrate that in a simpler combination so that when they do rep, it's almost built in. I think some of the skills that we're teaching them are unique to Balanchine uh, versus something pedapa or more classical. As far as uh, when I teach, I always find myself reiterating things that past teachers have said to me or have the skills that they have passed on to me, even down to specific combinations which teach specific skills. Presenting her. Right, we're going to present her, she's going to present her foot, hopefully her foot presents the heel, we'll see. <laughs> you know, I think my favorite part about teaching Adagio is it was my favorite thing to do as a dancer, you know, taking care of someone else and showing them off in their best light was something I very much enjoyed. And I think almost one of the greatest parts about being a teacher is when you see for the first time a student try something and they get it right, or they've been struggling with it and all of a sudden it clicks and you see the joy that it brings them and they're so excited about it and it's it's great because it's not selfish to you as a person it's giving okay that timing was better i know it was a little shifty this way but that was better so that we have this picture before we pull in it's just wonderful to see them light up when something goes right